What's up guys? Me here today. Gonna go on and talk about WWE 2K14 again. Um, today, really in the past 48 hours, WWE 2K14 is being talked about everywhere. Um, the Phenom Edition kind of made me want to buy it. And now the, the 30 years of WrestleMania makes me want to buy it. But here's something cool. I know some people are sitting there kind of lax, not really paying attention. But let me see if this gets your attention. There's going to be some people apparently in the roster that wasn't suspected, or wasn't expected, I guess, not suspected, wasn't expected to be in the game whatsoever. Let me see if I get uh, your attention here. The NWO. Oh, yeah. I said it. The New World Order might actually be in WWE 2K14. And I'm not just talking about, say, Nash and X-Pac. No, 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 no. I'm talking Nash, Hall, and Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. Hulk Hogan. The newest news is apparently that uh, WWE has approached Hogan um, to be in uh, WWE 2K14. And it's really funny because I do know that Hogan's likeness can still be used by WWE as long as Hogan allows it. Since Hulk Hogan owns everything that has to do with Hogan himself, his look, his feel, everything. He's not, TNA can't really say no. They can say they don't want him to, but Hogan is basically owns his own contract. And he pretty much did in WWE back in his later years in 2003 and all that. Um, so, you know, we saw that when Hogan first came to TNA and there was a... a Hulk Hogan movie uh, brought out by WWE. Most people just figured that that DVD was in the works before he went to TNA. Um, so that was the excuse as why WWE can do it. Um, because the fact is his likeness is not owned by TNA and nothing that has to do with Hulk Hogan is officially licensed and owned by TNA. Only his TNA merchandise. WWE could approach him and ask him things. Now say Hogan was in WWE... Technically speaking, from my understanding, TNA could go up and ask Hogan if he wanted to be in a TNA game or whatever that uh, reasoning might be or the Best of Hogan DVD, whatever. That's from my understanding. Um, I don't really have a lot of news uh, or a lot of information on this source, um, but it is something that I have heard that WWE has approached uh, Hulk Hogan to be in the game, which has now led to speculation that maybe they'll be bringing in Razor Ramon as a future DLC character as well as maybe Diesel. Um, but none of the DLC has actually been talked about yet, as far as I know. Supposedly, there's going to be between 15 to 20 wrestlers added on through the downloadable content phase. So, who that is, no idea. The new mystery wrestler that they're adding, most of the world believes that it's Andre the Giant, because now they're promoting the Andre versus Hogan WrestleMania 3 kind of idea. Um, supposedly also there's going to be a WrestleMania DLC that will include every arena uh, from WrestleMania 1 all the way up to WrestleMania 29 and possibly a concept of what uh, WrestleMania 30 could look like. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. It'll probably, we'll have WrestleMania 1 through 29 and it'll probably have the logo for 30 and you'll have to make the arena and it won't look exactly the same, but you know what I mean. Um, but that's supposedly the rumor that the NWO... Uh, could be in WWE 2K14. Um, as far as I know, it hasn't been uh, inked and set in stone yet, but it has been talked about, and it could be a possibility. Um, like I said, as far as my understanding is, uh, is 90% of the roster has been finalized, not, I repeat, not including DLC, but from my understanding, 90% of the roster has been finalized. So I'm not really sure what we're going to see altogether. I'm not sure about DLC, who we're going to see in that. Um, I don't think RVD is going to make it in the game right off the hop. I think he'll have to be a uh, downloaded content because I'm pretty sure they've already got, like I said, I know of, I know that 90% of the roster is set in stone. Doesn't mean that it has been completely revealed. I don't really know a lot about that part. Um, but I would assume Rob Van Dam will be uh, a downloadable content um, probably so will Evan Bourne. Um, he's not, as far as I know, he's not actually in the game itself. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I've seen a few different rosters, uh, official or not, it's hard to tell. Um, I tried actually opening up one right off of, uh, 2K. However, the site is currently down for maintenance, at least that I've tried to access. So I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure who all will see. I heard that Paul Bear will be in the game again. Probably just, you know, your typical manager thing, which would be nice to see since, unfortunately, he passed away. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I would believe that if Hogan's likeness can be brought into WWE 2K14, in theory that would tell me that Sting's likeness as well could be. If WWE approached him and asked him to be in the game, I think he probably could be. Because as far as I know, um, Sting's got the same deal as Hogan. If Sting pretty much owns everything that has to do with himself, his likeness, his character... His, everything other than his merchandise is in his complete control. So if WWE approached him, I do believe that uh, he could be in the game if he wanted to be. I'm not saying he is, but it is a possibility. I've been asked numerous times because everybody mentions Bill Goldberg. Will Goldberg be in the game? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Um, in theory, he could be because as far as I know, he's in a Legends contract, which doesn't seem to mean neither here nor there necessarily. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I thought that you guys would find that to be very interesting. Um, I would assume that Chris Jericho is probably as well going to be a DLC character. I don't think he'll be in the actual roster. He might be, but I have a feeling he'll be more of a DLC. Um, possibly so will Bret Hart. Um, and I don't really know who else. But this, like I said, a lot of this is speculation that I have. I would assume Mick Foley's going to be in it. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing. But I think I got that all covered. As far as at least the information that I'm aware of. But just wanted to bring that to your guys' attention that the NWO could be in 2K14. Which means if it does well this year, they could actually do like how I came up with uh, an NWO edition for WWE 2K15 next year. Which would be pretty cool in and of itself as well. I don't really want to buy the game because the fact that the game's not going to be all that great, in my opinion. It'll be just a rebrush of WWE 13, which has been a rebrush of every single friggin' WWE game with only slight changes over the years. Um... But they are doing a lot of cool concepts that I'd love to play, like the the WrestleMania storyline I'd love to see. Um, so we'll see what they have for characters um, or for their final roster. It could make me want to buy the game. If the NWO is in it, I mean, set, signed, sealed, delivered, I'm buying it for sure if the NWO is going to be in that game. So that really has my attention. And again, I just wanted to bring it forward.